All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Today's video, we're gonna be continuing down the list of the top 10 greatest All Blacks of all time. This is because it's a little bit of a passion project for me, but it's also because not long ago, I came across this absolute gem of a DVD in a secondhand store. And it chronicles legends of All Blacks rugby. There's 10 players on it, and they are, in fact, the 10 greatest All Blacks of all time. The DVD was created in 2011. John Kerwin played in the 80s and the 90s. I remember John Kerwin not as an actual fan watching him. I remember him as being this legendary winger who was so fast, very tall for that time, but he had one particular play, one particular try against Italy in the 1987 Rugby World Cup, the inaugural Rugby World Cup, the first one ever. The 2019 Rugby World Cup's about to start tomorrow, but we're going back over 30 years, 32 years. And uh, John Kerwin ran the length of the field, beating about 10 players on his way to the try line. It was an absolute stunner of a try. I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's, it's amazing. You're going to see it in this video. The video excerpts you will see are from this DVD. Um, I have tried to create a series like this in the past, but the fact is, is that I, I, I don't have any access to great footage, especially not for these, these older guys, the guys that played back in the day when, when there was no HD. Um, all I can do is look on YouTube and try and download videos and splice them together. Now, when I came across that DVD, I knew I was going to make this project. So John Kerwin, or should I say Sir John Kerwin, uh, is a legendary All Black. He came in at All Black number 854. He was born John James Patrick Kerwin on the 16th of December 1964 in Auckland, New Zealand. He was 191 centimetres tall, that's 6 foot 3, 100 kilos, or 220 pounds and played 63 test matches for the All Blacks between 1984 and 1994. Personally, I, I never got to see John Kerwin play in the flesh. He'd retired from All Blacks rugby before I actually started following the game. I was four years old when he retired, but he definitely goes down as one of, if not the greatest, All Blacks winger of all time. Right winger. Jonah Lomu would have to be the best left winger of all time. Now, throughout his 10-year career, John Kerwin played a total of 63 matches. He scored 35 tries in those 63 matches, which made him one of the highest try scorers in international rugby history, and he still is, including that absolutely stunning try against Italy in the 1987 World Cup. John Kerwin not only was a stunning rugby player, he's also been a really, really good coach. He's coached multiple teams including the Auckland Blues as an assistant in 2001. He then started coaching Italy, the national team, as an assistant in 2001. From 2002 to 2005, he coached Italy as a head coach and had some great success. From there, he moved to Japan, where he coached the national team from 2007 to 2011 and also had some great success. John Kerwin then went to the Barbarians, which is a a team that is formed from players all around the world for basically exhibition matches. He was the coach of the Barbarians for one year. After that, he's actually come back to New Zealand and from 2012 to 2015, he was the coach of the Auckland Blues. And that is him coming back to his roots. He started with Auckland and he might have finished with Auckland. John Kerwin has openly talked about his battles with depression uh, post-career and he's actually become somewhat of a figure if within that, that field um, of strength, a, a pillar of strength I should say, which is something to be really admired. John Kerwin has done a hell of a lot in his life. He is a legend of New Zealand rugby. He's written about his depression in two books that he's penned, All Blacks Don't Cry and Stand By Me. Before we go, before I go, before I hand you over to uh, some absolutely stunning footage of John Kerwin playing back in the day, I do want to leave you with uh, some of his awards and honours because this is 
This is incredible, to be honest. In 1989, in the middle of his rugby career, Kerwin was appointed as a member of the Order of the British Empire for services to rugby. In 2007, nearly 20 years later, Kerwin was appointed as an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit for services to mental health. In 2012, it gets better. He was knighted and became Sir John Kerwin. So with all that being said, there's probably a lot that I missed out. As I said at the start, I was, I was never lucky enough to actually witness this man play uh, in, in, in person, but uh, his legacy lives on and I'm doing my part with this, with this video. So I hope you enjoy, sit back, relax and enjoy one of the greatest rugby wingers of all time, Sir John Kerwin. It's dead back to Kirk on the blind side to Smith, not much room. Good kick though from Smith. Taylor was there quickly. Porkery to John Kerwin. First test try for John Kerwin. This try, the first of an eventual total of 35 for the All Blacks, demonstrated that New Zealand had unearthed a special talent in Auckland's John Kerwin. Well, what an emphatic reply by the All Blacks. And a good kick from Wayne Smith will get his confidence up. See the way he kicked it right on the point across the field. It was contested by an All Black and an Englishman. That was Taylor, picked up by Pokey. The good pass over the top, and John Kerwin did the rest. Inside is 22, Simpson has right on, could get into trouble. Now there aren't too many Canterbury players there. Murray Davy took it out. Kirk, Fox, Kerwin, John Kerwin, number three for Auckland. Loveridge the switch to Bota, Duplessis. Lovely Jenk inside. Coming well off his left foot, took the tackle well, Doinman, Doinman over the 10 metres line, lovely pass to Herber, Kerwin takes it, good tackle by Underwood, inside to Herber, Blanco has him, so has Jeffrey. Doinman was there, they're three metres out, Loveridge, Bota, inside to Kerwin, must be a try, all the way, the 20 year old from New Zealand has done it, and he must be absolutely thrilled. There was, there was no stopping John Kerwin then from about two or three yards out. But the, the try was made simply by, not only in this movement, but in previous movements, the way how the ball is kept available by the overseas backs. They always manage to make the ball available to the back row lads supporting. But it was at the inaugural World Cup in 1987 that he became a true world star, scoring six tries in total, one of them against Italy, Arguably one of the greatest ever solo tries in rugby history. John Kerwin! He followed this extraordinary score with two tries against Wales in the semi final and another in the victory over the French in the final. Fox floats it to Kerwin. Kerwin trying to go outside Hadley and Green home to pick it round under the post. John Kerwin. Zealand still with possession, driven on by Alan Wetton now, with Fitzpatrick the hooker, it's back to Kirk, to Fox, Taylor, Kerwin in from the wing, Kerwin again! But another lovely ball and Kirk full of confidence, look at this burst away by the All Black skipper again. Pick up and carry on by Shelford, the drive on for Kerwin, Kerwin is going to score at the corner. John Kerwin was a try-scoring machine. In the year following the World Cup, he scored an amazing ten tries in five tests. John Kerwin! That's test try number 23. Great attacking position here. Now Deans, up to Stanley. Here's Gallagher, try for John Kerwin. Simple move, and Kerwin gets his second. Sean Fitzpatrick, Deans, Fox, McCarhill looking for Kerwin and the crash ball. Kerwin through, and it's taken. He's away. Oh, brilliant try for John Kerwin. 
Superb try by John Kerwin, his best of the season. They went looking for him. Look how McCarthy looked for him. Here's where the try was born. Breaking through that tackle, wriggling his way clear into open country, and then sighting the corner flag and going for it, like he used to do last year and like he's doing this year again. Kerwin in. Well, there's only one thing you can say. I mean, that's the typical Kerwin stuff. In fact, you get back, you just call it, that's vintage Kerwin. So strong. Look at him get that long stride going. And it's almost good night, nurse, from the time he opened that hole up. Grand run. When he retired in 1994, he had played 63 tests for the All Blacks and scored 35 tries, a record at the time. In his retirement match, however, he showed that he had lost little of his old magic. John Preston. Lovely run by Preston. He might go all the way. He's given it to the big guy. Lovely try by Kerwin. Yes, John Preston straight through the gaps. And John Kerwin will finish as, as he began his first class career with a game coached by John Hart. Dots down for the first time for the NZ Barbars. Now he's done the right thing. He didn't find his target, so he'd set one up. Here they go with the extra man. Kerwin again. What a two for Kerwin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Money me a couple dollars. Telling you now this payback. Huh. So I take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now.